Hello, my name is Dr. Keith Warriner. I'm a professor here in the Department of Food Science at the University of Guelph. I have over 20 years of experience in food microbiology. I've studied sushi, frozen dinners, vegetables. If it spoils, I've studied it. And things like spoilage, preservation are big interests of mine. Today, we're going to test the science behind the myth that McDonald's burgers don't rot using ingredients from a grocery store. So we're here in the kitchen with my assistant. Hi, I'm Kayla, a food science student at the university. I'll be assisting in the experiment today. So we have a question from Mark H. from Saskatoon. He wants to know, why do your burgers not rot? That's a very interesting question. It's been on the internet for a number of years now. Even though I don't work for McDonald's, these sort of questions interest me because the hypothesis is, is that the burgers are so full of preservatives that they stop the growth of microbes. But the reality is, it's just dried out. Microbes don't grow on it for the simple reason it lacks moisture. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a very simple experiment where we have a range of foods here and we're going to see how they fare when stored at room temperature. Even the highest quality food held under these conditions would dry out and not rot. So what we have is the components of a burger, the beef, the cheese and the bread. We're going to cook up the steak and then we're going to leave everything under normal room conditions and then come back in a few weeks' time to see if it's spoiled or indeed dried out. During this cooking process, what we expect to happen is to lose weight through loss of juices and also to lose moisture. So we've just cooked the steak and what we're going to do now is come back in a few weeks' time to see if it's actually dried out or spoiled. Well, what we can visibly see is everything's dried out but it hasn't rotted at all. So during the cooking process, the beef lost 40% in water weight and an additional 30% after a few weeks' time. So that's 70% water loss. Well, that's quite a bit, isn't it? That's why it looks like jerky. Now, when we come to the cheese, we can see it visibly sweating. See there's liquid around the side and it's really tightened up like a sponge. Then when we come to the actual bun, it's basically dried out like a rock. Nothing can grow on it. Now, if we wanted to actually reverse this experiment, why not get a hamburger, put it into a plastic bag with the moisture is retained, and sure enough, they'll spoil. So, Mark, I hope that's answered your question, and thanks for asking it.